Indiana's police reform law is now in effect. That means officials and agencies all across the state are having to make some changes. Yeah, Fox 59 State House reporter Kristen Eskow shows us the steps departments are taking now. Particularly in law enforcement, to them, that much is given much is expected. Deputy Chief Gary Woodruff of the Lawrence Police Department says his team has had some of the new statewide requirements in place for years. That includes a ban on chokeholds and reviews of officer candidates' previous records. And he's glad all departments will now have these same standards. It standardizes the expectations and it does facilitate some things to make it easier to share information back and forth. The new law allocates 70 million dollars for the Indiana Law Enforcement Academy. Officials say right now they're working on plans for new construction and instructors to add more scenario-based training. One of the premier improvements is going to be an emergency vehicle operations track that will also include a scenario-based training village. Tim Horty says about 65 percent of the state's law enforcement officers train at the Indiana Law Enforcement Academy. He says it'll probably be a few years before new construction at the facility is complete, but his team is looking to start some of the new classes within the next few months. Our research shows that these officers retain that training a lot longer when we have an opportunity to uh, reenact those kinds of situations. In Plainfield, Kristen Escal, Fox 59 News. All right, Kristen, thank you. The new law also lowers the burden of proof for the Indiana Law Enforcement Training Board to decertify an officer for misconduct.